While working on the Edinburgh Tattoo, Vince the Crew Chief was kind enough to give me a gadget that he bought in Red Sea Mall in Jeddah. He travels a lot with work. And this is uh, one of those uh, death adapters, but he said this one looks fairly compliant until you realise that the little sleeves in the back here, the brown and blue, it's a very nice feature, except this one should be brown uh, and this one should be blue, so in the wrong order. Other than that, it's not too bad. When you plug it in, this little orange indicator does light up. Let's open it and see what it's like inside. If it has extra safety features, I know that certain safety features are missing. Notably, that if you're fumbling a plug-in uh, behind a table or something like that, if you, it's a round pin plug, you could actually put a round pin into a live connection and have the other end hang out with a slight risk of a shock. I wonder what power it's rated. It should really say on it. It doesn't say, oh it does, 13 amps, I very much doubt that. 250 volts, made in China. Everything is made in China. The good stuff and the bad stuff. So it does have a safety shutter. Let's peel the little sticky label off and get you down closer to this. It does have the little safety shutter here and it's the type that is operated by both these being pushed in at once. If you try pushing one in at once, it just seems to kick down an angle, which will stop the other, you know, putting just one pin in and the other end one hanging out. Inside, the construction is just pinned together. Oh, it's screwed in. Uh, let's take that screw out. Do I have a thinner driver here? Do I have a thinner driver? I should have a thinner driver. I don't immediately see a thinner driver. I should just... For, no, I'm not going to force that through the contacts. That's not going to work. Um, one moment, please. I have found a thinner driver. It was in my bucket of stuff that I still have to pack away. So, let's unscrew this. There's a screw going right down this. Is that separate? That is separate. So, theoretically, you could swap these about. Okay, so let's take the other one out then. I may well do that. Although having said that, I have no real need for this adapter. It is here purely for our exploration. Righty ho. Now, let's try and lever these out. Oh, that's not coming out that easy. He said popping the end out the screwdriver in an uncontrolled manner. Is this going to lever out? This is a separate contact that must rely then on friction. Rub against the side of this contact, which then does the top and bottom connections. Oh no, I lie. It's actually clamped in with a little plate at the back, so that's not bad. And the other one is presumably the same, so I mean the construction isn't terrible. Oh, also I see, and this is friction, the little super micro resistor uh, for the neon, the resistor is tiny. It's uh, one of those little resistors that's going to go up in smoke, probably. I'm, I'll try and keep in shot here, shall I? The value of the resistor is brown, green, yellow, 150k. That is just like, I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and aim. Can you see that? I shall zoom up and down until it gets into focus. Um, that is going to dissipate quite a lot of power and potentially go up in smoke. And when it does, the power supply will probably die of the pop. That's what uh, sort of happens with these things. So the construction will tell you what. I'll try and put this back together with the pin in the correct position. Now I'm also looking in here. Let's take the earth out. Or the ground connection, as you would say in America. And see what we've got here. Mm -hmm. Is it coming out? No, it's not coming out. I'm regretting this already. Yeah, it, it doesn't want to come out. I shall grab a pair of long nose pliers and grip it and pull it. There we go. Oh, the whole thing is one continuous piece of metal for the earth or ground, so that's not too bad. Right, one moment please. I'm going to try and put this back together with the correction of the colour code on the other side. One moment please. And it's back together. I'll put the little Red Sea Mall sticker back on it because the colour code is now correct. It's kind of like wibbly wobbly. It doesn't strike me as the sort of thing you'd actually want to use uh, with uh, the 13 amp. 13 amp will be the type of uh, socket it's designed to go in. Also worth mentioning, because there's no fuse, if you plug this into 
uh, a standard UK socket, and then you plug an appliance like a small shaver. Do people even use like shavers like that anymore, or uh, another suitable two-pin device into it? There'll be no fuse protection that would not be provided in UK plugs, so that could be quite nasty if it's shorted out from the flex perspective, because our our circuits, our power circuits, pack quite a punch. Uh, that is it. So thanks to Vince the Crew Chief for picking me this up on his travels through exotic destinations. It's not actually that bad, relatively speaking. It's a sort of thing that you could use in a pinch for cautious use of plugging in random international devices.